Hi guys, it is Monday, I think it's Monday, and I've not filmed since I was at hospital on Friday, um, I didn't get out of the hospital until about 7 o'clock in the evening, even though I was told at 9am I could go home, um, I thought I would be going home quite early on, in all honesty. But I ended up staying there the whole day and being totally bored, senseless all day. Um, I was cold, I was tired and I was bored and normally I would have tried to get some sleep but I didn't sleep very well when I was in hospital. Um, and I was struggling to keep my eyes awake but open but I kept thinking they're going to come in any minute and tell me I can go home. So I kind of didn't lie down or didn't get under a blanket or anything all day until about 5 o'clock when I realised it could be a few more hours until I go home. So I eventually um, put a blanket on me to warm up a little bit. I got all my meals that day. Um, but it was just the fact that I got told I could go home at 9 o'clock and I didn't leave till 7. It was frustrating and they were messing me around with my release letter, which I still haven't got because the pharmacist was messing around and she come to see me and asked me what I was on and did I bring any of these tablets in, the ones that I was on before I went in and I said I hadn't and then the sister on the ward came and said they were having um, a problem because I'm down as being on a medication that I hadn't had since I'd been in there for the five days. So it was causing a lot of problems with my release notes. So eventually they said I can go, but I would have to go and get the letter. Um, but I definitely don't want to leave the house at the moment. I don't have a phone at all. And my panic alarm was not working for three days. And I finally got them here today and I've got a new one because it, it wouldn't work and they, they wouldn't accept that and they kept telling us what to do and stuff and I was like I've had this alarm for five months I know that it's broken but they weren't listening so but yeah I don't really want to go out the house without my phone and it's a long story why I don't have a phone and I don't particularly want to get into it right now so yeah and I've not filmed all weekend because I'm feeling quite unwell and very down and I just don't know what to say I don't know what to get into or what to say about how or why I ended up in hospital it's a long story I guess and I just feel like um, I can't really talk about it right now. I mean, a lot went on to the point where things have happened beyond my control and I don't know what's going to happen and I don't know what to think or feel about what is happening at the moment. I'm actually filming on an iPad that isn't mine. Um, it, I have no phones. Like my phones have been taken away by the police, and that's all I'm going to reveal. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get them back. I'm stressed not having them. I find it very difficult not having a phone, especially being in hospital for five or six, five days, I think it was, and having no contact with the outside world like that. It was just so hard for me. This iPad is so awkward to hold and I can't hold it far enough away from me. It's annoying. Um, I'm filming this as one clip and I'm just going to upload it as one. I don't think I'm going to film for the rest of the day after I've done this because I don't really feel like talking at all. Um, I'm not <laughs> doing really well at the moment with my depression and it didn't help being in hospital and being cut off from the outside world because the police have my phones it's 
it's been very difficult for me to deal with that and I just want my phone back like I don't even want both of them I'll just be happy with one with my sim card so I, I'm not cut off from the world like this I have no phone I have no house phone I have nothing and it's making me feel worse than I was feeling um, but yeah I've not really done anything since I've been home. I'm so exhausted. I barely slept in hospital. I'm going to try and film a video about my time in hospital. Um, I can't remember much about how I ended up there. Um, I still haven't answered questions myself about that. But obviously something happened. I think that's obvious from the bruising. I know my bruise is almost gone on my face. Um, I've still got them on my hands. I know you can't really see them that well in this light, but I'm still bad, badly bruised there. But my face one has almost gone, but it's dark in here, so you can't see it. It's actually darker than it looks in here, but the light's very bad. Obviously, The injuries to my face and hands and I was bruised all over my body was the re original reason I ended up in hospital. Um, I did leave the hospital and I ended up back there. I don't know how long after. It's a bit of a blur to me. I remember little things but I don't know times or anything. I didn't have a watch on my phone. I didn't. So I don't know. I don't even know what time I left there in the first place. I don't know what time I got back there I'm really I don't know I, I don't I have questions myself about the time I don't have a clue um, but ultimately I got admitted and I was surprised by that um, I don't know why I, I just I knew I wasn't well I felt really ill and it just got worse and then they admitted me and then I thought I'd be coming home the next day and I didn't and then I thought the day after and I didn't I just and in the end I just got so sick of being there that I was just like I'm going to pretend I'm better than I am 